We'll guide you through how to use Optifine with Forge. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Let's get started. Firstly, you need to go and open up a browser. So personally, I use Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like, and then come to a search engine. So I'll use Google. And what we want to do is go and search for Forge, just like so, and then go to the Forge website at the top here. Before we get any further, I want to give a huge shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're the go-to host I use. They've got so many awesome features like one-click mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers, and support as well, which is super useful, instant setup, and so many other awesome benefits as well. If you're interested in them, I'll go and put a link in the description and the pinned comments. And at the moment, you can get 50% off monthly plans. So make sure you check them out as soon as possible. Just before we get much further, you want to open up another tab and we want to then search for Optifine just like so. So go and search for it and go to the official Optifine website. And at the top, you can go and click on downloads. So what you want to do is make sure you get the same version of Forge as you get for Optifine. And what you need to do is go and click on show all versions. Now on the right here, you've got a list of different Forge versions and you need to make sure that the version of Optifine you're getting is compatible with Forge. Otherwise it's not going to work and your game will probably crash. So let's look at 1.20.1. If I look here, as you can see, it now says 47.2. So therefore this is for 47.0. So therefore it wouldn't be compatible. So what you need to do is go back through the versions until you find a compatible one. So here we've got 1.19.4. You can see that's 45.26 and then 45.2. If I look for 1.4, once again, this is 45.1. So then I'll go and look at 1.19.3. So slowly work your way back and then we'll go and look here. And that's 44.1.23. And this is also 44.13. And I found that older versions of Forge and Optifine tend to be compatible. It's just the new ones are still getting updates and so they can become incompatible. And it's important to note as well is that you may need an older version of Forge if you want a specific mod as well. So yeah, just basically get the same version for Forge and Optifine. So let's go and tap on installer for 1.19.3 and wait for Forge to, to start the download. You'll be taken to an add wall. Just be careful of tapping on any download buttons here because that won't start Forge. You need to click on the skip button in the top right like this to get to the Forge download and it'll take a moment and it'll then start the download just like that. And then we can come to Optifine and we can get the version of 1.19.3 as well. So I'll click on download and then I'll click on download again and the download should begin. After you've downloaded them, let's open up a file explorer and find our downloads. Here we are in my file explorer and here's Forge and Optifine. So I'm just gonna go and put these on my desktop. What you need to do is go and install Forge. So double click on it like so, and you should then go and get the mod system installer pop up. Now, if you get something else pop up or you go into a fo folder or file, this is because you don't have Java installed. So go and open up your browser and you want to go to java.com. You can download Java here and then go and install it. And after you've installed it, come back to Forge, click on it and then right click on it and press on open with and press on choose another app and locate Java TM platform SE binary and then click on always and then it should run. If it still doesn't, you may need to go and do something called a jar fix, which we've made a guide on and I'll put a link down below. So once you've got the installer running, go and click OK with install client selected and it will now go and do the download and the install. Once it's finished, you'll get this pop up here and that's it. So now what we can do is go and run Minecraft. On the launcher, make sure Java edition is selected and then to the left of play, you can choose the version and make sure you're running the Forge version we just installed, which for me was 1.19.3, maybe different for you. And then go and click on play, and we can go and launch. It's now launched and as you can see, we've got Forge installed because we've now got this mods button and we can see Forge in the bottom left. So click on mods and then click on open mods folder. And what we now need to do is drag Optifine straight into there. So here we have it. We can go and drag it and drop it in like so. You can close that and you'll now need to go and re and you'll now need to go and restart Minecraft. So just press done and then quit game and relaunch it. I've just relaunched it and when I click on mods, you may be wondering Optifine still isn't appearing. Don't worry, that's completely normal. It doesn't seem to appear in your mods. But if we go and click on options and video settings, we can go and see it's appeared there. So that's it guys. That is how you can use Optifine with Forge. Optifine is going to make your game run much faster and you can zoom in and things like that. 
If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.